Alright, we got another video. Women have to stop thinking like this. Let's see what this video is about. It's another Stevie. It's a night talk. Let's see what's up. The easiest, easiest thing, thing in, in the, the entire, entire world. world. Who the hell is this? Is that? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, please. No. Come I on. have never, never wanted, wanted a man, man and not got a hand. Do you, you have, have any idea, idea how many, many men have, have wanted, wanted me and not got me? Granted, granted, some, some dusties, dusties have caught me slipping. slipping. Yeah, but... What did she say? Cause what what the hell was that? What the hell did she even just say just now? Cause all I hear is ego, 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 ego. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like women, I don't care how cute she is, bro. I would definitely not have let a woman like that get anywhere near. Like to think that she can get me. Hell no. Oh, you're freaking mine. Talking like that. It's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. The concept that a woman is supposed to keep a man, it's gaslighting and it's finest because these toxic, unhealed, don't go to therapy, traumatized and emasculated, narcissistic men, they've already made it up in their mind the second they were traumatized or emasculated by a woman when they were taught, young adult, etc., that they would never allow themselves to be got or kept by a woman. So then, so then everybody, everybody else clowns women and places this false narrative of you can't keep a man. man. Bitch, I wasn't, I wasn't created, created by this divine, magical, magical creator to even keep one. That, that is, is not, not my role. role. We're, We're here, here to... to you trying to bring your own cre the creator you believe in into it you you do all this extra oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh. I know good and well your creator must be looking at you like what the fuck <laughs> yo <laughs> hey yo it's not about keeping it's about whether you both can be with each other and knowing that you both want to always be by each other's side no matter what happens a lot of the time depends on what it is of course but making sure both of you can be able to be together as a bond and be able to love each other and be able to like you know be again just be with each other and have a bond that's it that's literally it to be together, have a bond, be able to have sex, do all this, all this stuff that uh, uh, any like couple should be. A lot of times, I can't even say should, but do on a consistent basis. The consistency of how much you both want to be with each other, even if sometimes the way you both get into arguments, to where it brings inconsistency, you're looking at each other sometimes, but knowing that that's what comes with the relationship sometimes as well. Doesn't go for every relationship. Excuse me. But still, like, that's just... Ugh! And then you try to bring a creator into it and shit. Oh my gosh. 
we're here to have partners and life partners. But if somebody or a collective or type of men decided that they would never allow themselves to be kept, then how the fuck do you expect women to keep? That, that shit is, is the, the ultimate, ultimate scam. scam. Both of you should be trying to keep each other and make sure you both are still growing together and motivating each other to be able to do greater things. What's wrong with the word keep? You make it seem like we're just trying to put you in slavery. That's not what that is. Complete, Complete gaslight of the, of the fucking century. All I heard was a bunch of bullshit. bullshit. A, a lack, lack of, of taking accountability. accountability. Once, Once again, her video was, was saying that, that women, women can't, can't keep a man. man. But what, what man, man did she, she just describe? Was, was her description, description that of uh, the majority, majority of men? <laughs> Let me rewind, rewind back and hear again what her description was. This, this one's, one's for you married, married people, or those of you who want to be married, or those of you... These toxic, unhealed, don't go to therapy, traumatized and emasculated, narcissistic men... I wouldn't even say it's a very good description to generalize all men. These type of men tend to be a small percentage of men. If you can you label, label those characteristics, characteristics you can label, label those by a woman. woman. And <laughs> if, yeah, yeah, I, I, wouldn't I wouldn't say that's a good, good, I wouldn't say those are good traits, traits to generalize. I'm not, I'm not even going to say that's a female perspective, because that's not a female perspective. That's just, that's just not it, okay? Like, I'm going to be honest with you, that's just not it. That's not it. Even, like, a woman's perspective, in some cases, will soon enough sit there and be like, what the f*** did I just say? Or someone will be like, what did you just say? What was that? Garbage. And as a whole, it'd be a good description of a small minority of men. And, once again, we have women here. I guess you're going to say, oh, you're not listening to what she's trying to say. The men who are here get women who become narcissistic, emasculated, toxic from the multiple engagements with women. Most men are hear attention from women, right? We know this. So I see it as a lack of accountability, a lack of self-awareness. You are focused on a type of man, and these traits come with this type of man. And you clearly cannot keep these type of men because these type of men don't want to be kept. So then everybody else clowns women and places this false narrative of you can't keep a man. Bitch, I wasn't, I wasn't created, created by this divine, divine magical, magical creator to even keep one. one. That is, it's not and a, I'm sure your divine ma this character that you're doing and making up and shit. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me, let me start over. Hold on. Let me start again. Divine magical creator. Well, this divine magical creator is going to be pitying you for what the hell you're saying because you're saying something that's definitely not. True. Man. Man, bitch, I wasn't created What kind of illusion type of magic are you on? To even keep one. That is, it's, it's not a false narrative. The narrative is <laughs> fucked. If you keep it going, the men have wrong for you. That narrative is valid as shit. You can't keep your man because the man you kind of get don't want to be kept. Because it's not meant for you. What's meant for you does not go anywhere. It does not leave. It stays there. It stays put. Cause that's where they, but that's where it feels. That's where the fulfillment is at. Nothing is, nothing that that is meant for you is truly lost. Okay. Comprende, Compre comprende. I need to see a head nod. Damn it. There you go. We definitely would put them in the earth. There you go. Away, but can't That's the stuff right here. Oh. 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 She tends, herself. To, she tends, tends to, go to go after this collective of men. It's not, not all the men. All right, all right, next next, next video. video. Men who are on their stuff now feel like they have options. So, so if they, don't they don't feel like they, they have, have to chase. chase. Right, right, they don't. Why? 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 That's just like women. There's <laughs> no different. Oh, my God. people like this.
this. <laughs> Why are people like this, bro? <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, what the freak you mean, bro? Man, I don't know about this thing no more, man. Because, bro, women be having probably like 50 plus men in their DMs right now that they all friend that that by the way all are friend zone and then she's just scrolling to see who can who we got next like yo i ain't trying to hear that double standard to hey those days are gone <laughs> those <laughs> days are toast, toast. bro come, come on man, man. the chances are you're going into some bullshit real shit nowadays, nowadays like, like Top dogs, the ones who are on their purpose, that all the women want. They don't need to take it. It all comes to them. So they essentially live in the bad bitches life. Right? Bad bitches out here don't find themselves pursuing men. They don't. Well, I mean, first of all, women typically don't feel like they need to pursue men because of supply and demand. They don't need to because men constantly come after them. They don't. They don't need to pursue anybody because the. The options, the options are always there. there. You got yeah, men in the bottom of the barrel who don't, who don't have any options, options compared to women. And you have women who have all the options, options because men pursue women. women. And you have the bad bitches who don't need to be out pursuing anybody at all. But, but then you got, got the fucking criminal criminal top, top dogs dog who the bad bitches pursue. pursue. When you're on your purpose, you don't need to be out chasing. And then the people that buck, like the days of courting and all that shit, days are fucking dead. I mean, feminism and modern women kill that shit. You don't have the traditional women anymore who was deserving, deserving of men courting and going after them. You don't live that life anymore. anymore. Chances are you're running into some little masculine ass delusional entitled women who was undeserving of that. So, I mean, I have no problem with the man saying they're not chasing nobody. You know what I mean? Because they're not going to place themselves in that compromised situation. They don't have to. Probably going to be rejected anyway. You know what I'm saying? They're going to run into some bullshit. You really don't need to. They don't make them like mama. You know what I'm saying? Even the baby is gone. Certain types of women are being pursued worse than before. <laughs> they they pay the comparison with the majority of the women out there who are undeserving of it. So, I mean, by balance of probability, you have a better chance of this, you know, pursuing your purpose, focusing on your shit, killing that life, and wait for whomever the fuck it is who finds you appealing to come at you. And then the ball's in the court. Like I said, what's meant for you will stay. Is that marinating now? Is that really soaking in that brain cell of yours? To where then it, it spreads on your brain like Ebola? Not to where it hurts you, of course. It's not supposed to hurt you. It's not supposed to do anything at all, really. It's supposed to at least help you out to understand, you know, the truth of things. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude. Because, like, I, I'm just saying, like, again, a woman will not make you chase. If she truly likes you, she's not playing any games, bro. Like, she's sure, maybe sometimes she may be, like, a little comfortable with trying to identify her feelings for you. Because with you, in a sense, she's just going to be sitting there trying to, like, You know, she's still like, you know, warming up to you. Like, like, what, what was that thing I saw on there? Women are like water. You have to warm them up. While like, you're like the, like, just like a pot. Like, take it like some, like you got the water in a pot. You gotta be, you're that fire that lights up on an oven. You gotta warm her up. Don't take too long, because like genuinely in a sense, if a girl already has that kind of fiery passion to you, towards you in a sense, can you really say that she's water at all? Maybe she really sees something very passionate and very admi admiring, you know, with like you know something that she can admire within a relationship and like well, you know, through the what she can see between you two, you know, and it can actually do something in both of you. Can real damn there probably most likely be life depends on you know both of you and open mindedness. But yeah, man, my side been hurting for a little bit, like for random reason, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, all right.
Lori Harvey. We ain't got nothing to do with Lori Harvey. Those situations happen, though. Those are also the women that most of these men are going after. She's super beautiful. She dresses this way. She's body up. And then it's like... That's a terrible comparison. Lori Harvey, that's like the fucking social media slut, bro. Everybody knows that, bro. Michael B. Jordan was very aware that that had the potential to happen. He knew about her history. It's like the fucking world did. And he, cause he chose to pursue her. That was a fucking mistake for his ass. That, that was a terrible fucking example. Hey, then they get mad when they get treated like Lori Harvey treated you. But that's what you look for. What's the difference? I mean, we all knew her track record. Let's just let's, let's let's talk, talk about it. it. She, she had, she dated, dated fucking Diddy's to him. So, like, so, so why did we say that? Why did we even want to marry somebody, somebody like that? Why would you date somebody like, like that? Why would you start like that? People can't grow? No. I just, I just want y'all to keep, keep on, on, keep on, keep on. I'm saying, what would, why would you have this expectation, expectation that she would be ready for marriage and you see her track record already? That's my whole point. What is the difference in women who y'all chase a certain type of man? I don't chase. Oh, oh, y'all, y'all look for a certain type of man. I don't yeah. look. <laughs> 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 so you don't. So, you don't, so, so how how is a guy supposed, supposed to know you interested in him? He don't. He shoot a shot. Okay. <laughs> okay. So basically, you're saying he should chase you. That's just like that's just that. Oh my gosh! Oh, hold on. You know what? Let me relax. And. Talk his coin and see what happens. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. For real. Like, what the fuck? Facts, bro. Hey, man, it ain't funny, but it is funny. These women about to be single forever. So I gotta say, this ain't how it used to be. This ain't the old times no more. Women got courted. Back then, women got courted because they were raised to be wise and and had traditional values and were pure and not masculine and all that bullshit. I don't feel like diving into all that right now. You know what I'm saying? So for these modern women today that have. The expectations of how it used to be. Y'all gotta fucking get a hold of that. Like, you don't live in that space no more, man. And I think it would be. Oh, he's, he's not. I'm sorry that cut. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Oh, he's not gonna know. He's not gonna know that I'm interested. So I'm gonna let him shoot his shot. Basically, I'm gonna make him chase me. I just don't want him to know that I'm into him. And if I mess with the the shot that he he done brought from his artillery, maybe then I'll give him a chance. Like what the fuck? What kind of delusional shit is this? What kind of what kind of delusional shit is this? Seriously. Pool of women who are out here seeking a relationship with the current status of the dating climate to go after what you want. This is what I'm saying. What's meant for you will stay. I'm just going to wait for the perfect man to come up in my fucking life. It's never going to happen. And then year after year after year after year, year it's going to go by and you keep entertaining the same dumb shit. Like the same fucking toxic ass fuck boys hollering at you. It's not going to make you change. It's not going to make you like have to shoot your shot. It's going to just naturally happen. If she's really serious about having a relationship. The chances of the perfect man you want that has... <laughs> Everything you need in a man coming to you to talk to you is not going to happen because this man with all these fucking characteristics that women want is not out here going after anybody. The women are coming after him. So you got to compete for that man. And what will make it easier for you to compete for that man is to go after him. Right? And that's not being thirsty, like saying some crazy shit ever, like trying to spit. All a all woman has to do to fucking pursue a man is say hello. Just open the fucking doorway for him. And then and let, let, let the man, man take care of the rest. Because, because once you break, break that ice and allow a man to know that you're fucking interested, the chances just are just the man is going to be interested in you. You know what I'm saying? Just, just in the balance of probability compared to the opposite. opposite. When, when men pursue women, women mostly reject men. But women hardly ever go after men compared to the amount of men that go after women. Right? So just chances are you're going to have a better chance of finding the type of man that you want. We can go after Because think about it. Typically, Typically, the men the out here who are pursuing women, women they, they do it often, often which call a fuck boy. They have the confidence to approach women today, today right? right? Especially for most, most women, the modern, the new entitled shit, you gotta fucking navigate through all that when you pursue women, women. and chances are you're gonna get fucking rejected. You, you, you see what women. I'm saying? Is that a marinade? Is this soaking? Allow a man to come. Telling you guys, like, he's gonna be a fuck boy. 
if we have yes, all the characteristics. I wish I learned that need, earlier in life you need to do myself. Like, like, right? right. So, so to, to save yourself a headache, right? <laughs> right? You, you should, should go around and look to, to see what you like, like. And, just and just go through yourself. yourself. I got, like, like, like legit, I got, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I got hurt a lot of times, bro. I went, I was going through a lot of stress already enough, you know, early in life, bro. I was going through already a whole bunch of stress and depression and shit. Because of what I had to go through with my own, like, what, what just my family in a sense and, and shit like that. Like, bro, it was already enough bullshit going on, bro. And they didn't, and that's the thing, bro. That's why I tell y'all, y'all need to start worrying about yourself a little bit more than trying to be selfless towards people that don't appreciate you, even your presence, just because they think that you gotta earn their respect and shit, and you the one who who brought you into the world. Fuck out of here. Shit like that is fucking lame, bro. That's some that's some stuff that you can, bro. You would get fucked up doing shit like that, trying to be selfless towards people that don't fucking that that always think you gotta earn their respect. You gotta earn this and that. When then, then again, at the end of the day, you were still what a child, and you still were learning about life. They they still didn't have their shit together even during life. They don't even know what life even means. They don't even know what life means to them. Cause they still fucking up. They didn't they didn't achieve their dreams. So now that they didn't achieve because the world didn't go their way, they don't they trying to control you. Trying to say what's what. Like they know what the fuck is really going on. And then try to kick you out and shit. See, cause I'm gonna be honest, this this place that you see right now, I'm in my grandma's. All because of some fucking views and shit. All because of this idiotic delusional ass shit that I went through. And they have the audacity to try to... And I know I seem to be putting my personal life out there, but I'm just going to speak about it right now. Be ultimately honest right now. Because there's not a lot of people that will speak about this shit anyway. Fuck it. And then try to press their beliefs on you, bro. Believe in yourself. Believe what you believe in. Stop letting people pressure you into what you should believe in or what you shouldn't. Because religion is, is a social construct nonetheless. Keep that in mind. Religion is is pretty much can be anybody everybody has a religion. You don't even have to believe you don't even have to believe in none of that stuff. You can still be a religion. Because basically all the stuff you do, basically in a sense, is damn near ritual. Oh, I'm gonna go to the gym every five o'clock. Work on myself. Like, I'm just saying, like, there, there's a lot of stuff that people keep talking about. Like, you're not your religious beliefs, bro. Let's be honest here. Let's be logically honest. You're not your religious beliefs. So don't let other people control you and mold you into that kind of shit. And if it helps you with your life, that's good. That's good for you. But that's not, don't try to pressure that on everybody else. You're traumatizing people. You're creating stress on people. You're because basically what that book can do, or, or some certain things can do, and when it comes to religion, it can bring guilt and shame with unnecessity. To think that they're not enough. When they were supposedly this masterpiece, but now are supposedly told that they can, that they're not enough out of nowhere and shit. Y'all be fucking kidding me. All because of a view, man. It's crazy. And nobody even understands the damn thing anyway. It goes right over their fucking heads every single day. So I just want y'all to know, like, literally, do not give up on your dreams and do what you know that you want to do in life. As long as you can, like, know that, you know, you're not, you know, what's the word? Purpose. <coughs> oh. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Seriously, though, like, I just want the best for everybody in the world. It's insane for myself. 
I want the best for myself. I want the greatness for myself as well. I want the greatest for myself. I want myself to be in magnificence. Just as much as you yourself should be looking at yourself as much as well. Embrace yourself. Stop running from yourself. Isn't that what people that, you know, were religion, of what people see as a follower and what the person that they wrote the book about themselves about? Because you find it through me. You find it through me. Guys need to come on, man. Like, seriously, I really be I believe that this world can get better. I know it will. Eventually it will, nonetheless. It just obviously is going to take a lot. Everybody has different views because that's just what it is. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't need you don't deserve to go to hell or deserve to go somewhere just because you believe something different. Cause no, just know that sometimes it can be corrected. Just depend on depends on what it is. You eventually some things will be corrected and become better. I just really hope you all understand this. I I really I know you guys can do this. I can do this. Like, so I just, I just hope you all can understand that, right? Just remember this. I can wait for the answers because they stuff. Take your destiny in your own hands, right? And, and when you do that, you have a better chance of filtering out all the fuckable shit that you go for to this person, man. Because if y'all are ever in a space and he doesn't come approach you, Chances, Chances are he's not fucking fuck 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 He's just probably thinking about it. He's probably he's worried, worried about rejection. He's, he's probably worried, worried about your response to it. Nowadays, it's not even fucking safe for a man to go talk, talk to him because someone will, will perceive that as like sexual harassment or some shit. You open that fucking door. Like, men are out here fucking scared shit because he's even approaching you today. Man, that's so facts, man. Because, again, I like there was this time when I was, uh, you know, at work, you know, and this is when I, this was after the fact of when I was, like, a after I had parted ways with my first ever girlfriend, right? Like, because with, when it came with my first girlfriend, it naturally happened. It was a natural thing. It naturally grew into that. Because she also came through and said that she was, like, you know, into me and she found me cute to her and all that stuff. That's how it kept, like, that's how it kept growing. We naturally kept talking to each other, and then that's what happened. It can happen again. It can happen again, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, what's meant for you will stay. And the reason why I don't have her no more is because of, uh, of a thing that she did. Okay, so it's just, uh, what's meant for you will stay. You can, like, uh, you can see what could be life, like, but sometimes you also gotta be aware of what's going on with the actual relationship. Stay open-minded, guys. Seriously. Right, so, so to, to, to mitigate that as best as you can, just go for the man if you want. Just what's up, what's up, man? Ain't gotta be no one person. Just say for people. real, for real though. Like I don't understand who taught, who told girls that it's slutty or thirsty to come to a guy and say what's up and trying to holler at him. Like there's nothing thotty, like slutty or any of that sort about that. Then there, fuck it. How about to boost your confidence? Everybody's a slut deep down. Every single one of us. Everybody is. Everybody want to get fucked. Everybody want to get sucked off or some shit. All right. Get your ass up. If you into that person, say so. Stop fucking sitting there. And yeah, I say that as much, but I I just don't. 
You know, I don't, I just don't, I'm a different kind of person that does that. Some people will do that, though. Actually, get it, I know. How are you going to tell me to get up and do this shit, but you can't do that yourself? I didn't, I never said I couldn't. See, he put words in my mouth that I didn't even say. And I just did it even to myself. Because that's not true. I, I would. I could do that. I would do that. I just don't feel the... I don't see the need to. Because it, if it naturally happens, then what? Can you say that I need to say anything? Because all we'll be doing is just naturally talking. And the next thing you know, we're talking every single day. We're trying to come see each other. We want to see each other. We put effort to see each other. We make plans together. That's how you know when someone's really into you, when they put such efforts like that in there. It's the truth. I can understand if somebody was going through something that you're in, that, that you know, you both are, like, together, but, and then let's say, like, the... Like the, your partner is the one that's going through like a lot of mental things and and not really there all the all the way like the way that you would think they were. But that's why you're supposed to work through that together. Cause now, what they what they say? What's yours is mine. Can I, can I actually, is that, is that a truth? Is that a reality? Is that something that's really true? I don't know. Could be. And I'm not saying that, oh, that means I'm taking your depression I'm, or I'm taking what you, your negatives and I'm putting it onto myself. No, I'm saying that we're working it out together. You actually talk to me, express to me what you're feeling and all these things and we can work something out. It's not that fucking hard. I can understand it being hard because you're trying to, to like, if it was somebody that you're with that obviously doesn't give a, a, a shit's ass about you. But it's, the, it's when people actually genuinely care and actually want to, to put effort to make sure you're okay. But then you what? You're going to say, oh, I don't want you to do all this effort, put all this effort into me like that. What's wrong with you? Be grateful for that kind of stuff. It's different if they're trying to control you and be like, see, this is why... Like, no, that's that's not love at all. That's not love at all. They're just trying to control you to be what they want you to be. You be who you are, and they also accept you for who you are. But also understand that there's consequences, consequences that can come with that. And if you're like a, a actual slutty kind of girl or a guy that actually goes around cheating, which is outside of relationships. That's something that you need to really get rid of and flip. So that look, I don't say no more for right for right now. And then you leave that. And then you find yourself saying hello to a fuckboy. You know how to fucking engage in interactions with you know and 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 read body language which type of man you with. And if you're a fuckboy, you want to the next one. Right, right. The chance, the, you have a better chance of finding what the fuck you want and take it upon yourself as opposed to sitting, sitting back and waiting for it to fucking happen. Because it's never going to fucking happen. You're going to be sitting here 10 years down the road still waiting to manifest whomever this perfect man is. You're going to be fucking 35 alone with your cat. Men are the easiest thing in the entire world. If you are wondering how you and another woman got the same man, it is because men are the easiest thing in the entire world. I have, I have never wanted, wanted a man, man and not got him. him. Do, Do you, you have, have any idea, idea how many, many men have, have wanted, wanted me? And not got me? Granted, oh, some dusties have caught me slipping. Yeah, but this is stupid. It's just stupid. Trying to compare, to compare a woman's access, access, to, sex access to sex compared to a man's access to sex. Access. Idiot. Everybody it knows really that women's access to sex is a whole lot easier than men's access to sex. Women get sex easy. So of course we're not even fucking say no to you. And you're a fucking porn star. Come on, we know how to do it. Exactly. Women get sex. But anyway, whatever the fuck. Whatever the fuck. Yo. You've got every man that you've had eyes for, clearly. But 
that shit don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing because you let men fuck. You an idiot for letting all these men fuck, including the dust that you let fuck. You're supposed to shoot your pussy as a prize. Like, that's what you fucking up. And you fucking up thinking that dick, you need dedication, which it does not. Just because you get dick down means nothing. When you get that fucking dick to be dedicated to, that's everything. So, all right. And, but again, don't let that get to your head, ladies. When they, when he says that you're, you know, you, your vagina is not the prize. Okay, you as a person, as you come as who you are as a person, as a character, and how you perceive yourself and project yourself towards in the relationship. All right, then you will see the true, the truth that both together. But I can well then again if it was just to be like a hookup, I can understand that, all right. But if it's in a relationship kind of shit, that's 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 to be expected. That pussy is to be expected. Withholding it from your man, bro. There's there's so many men out here that will leave your ass in a blink if you don't do shit like that, because that's that's a necessity. Do your research before you start trying to think that you know what you're doing. Trying to withhold sex from a guy for so long. You met you you both been together for so long. And now you're still over here withholding it, withholding it. Withholding so much of yourself from that person because you think that you're either you're not good enough or you think that like that you're so much you're worth so much more or you're out of that this person's out of your league why are you with the person then if you see yourself as such a high value you probably don't even make any money that dude's probably making more money than what you're doing he actually probably risking his own freaking financials for your ass that's disrespectful If I had a, if I had a woman that was that pays more than me in a sense and that gets paid more than me and I actually uh, like and let's say I go to work and stuff still and the, she makes a little bit more than I do like still that doesn't even make that still doesn't like matter the, it's not about that money it's about the bond me me and her it's not about the money money money. We don't need your money, money, money. We just want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tax. I hope that I don't get copyrighted for that. Or copyright whatever claim and shit. But still, I'm just saying. I hope you're hearing what I'm saying. Or listening to me. I hope, you were li- I hope you're listening. Okay? I really hope you're listening, bro. Like... I really hope you're listening and actually understanding what I'm saying. Like, I'm being as simple as I possibly can. All right. Got no time trying to do riddles and shit. I hate to get you straight up. Shit shit like this is fucking stupid. The loser of my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was really good. That was a really good reaction video. Hey. Man, there's so much wrong that it makes it so much wrong at the same time. Because then when the right things come out, people try to make the rights wrong. Such a joke. <laughs>